back and show that kind of toughness. You know, now it's on our team to be able to do that. Um, you know, we, this is one of the first top 20 teams we're playing. I mean, we've got six more before we even start ACC play. So this is not something that's going to happen once, you know, once in the next two months. I mean, we're, this is this going to happen weekly. Uh, you know, we're going to play a top 20 team, and we're going to have to show some kind of toughness and some kind of resiliency. And you know, if I have anything to, to, to say about her or do with it, you know, we're going to find some toughness. Ty, what do you do to bounce back the next couple of days? Um, just come into practice and focus hard. I mean, you know, obviously we learn from our mistakes and learn from the loss today and try to correct things in practice. But, you know, as a collective unit, we had to come together and, you know, just get everything back on the same page and play Drew to say basketball, especially the upper class. We got to come in and lead the freshmen because we know the way to play. Ty, what was it like playing in this building and playing with Tennessee and this big crowd here? I mean, just what um, it wasn't my first time, but I mean, it's definitely an honor to be able to play in the McCamish. Um, I'm finally back at home, so I mean, I definitely enjoyed it, but you know, we got ways to go. I mean, we're definitely going to get there. Coach, I'm sorry if you already answered this. Tennessee in that zone so much. Were you surprised to see them that much in the zone, or were you expecting them to have to drop when their man to man had so much trouble in Chattanooga? Were you expecting more zone? Absolutely. I mean, and the other thing is, everybody plays a zone. So, you know, I was expecting definitely for them to play a zone. That's what we talked about this morning. Shoot around, they're going to play. We thought they, they would go 2-2-1 two, two, into 2-3 to slow us down and then play zone, or they'd play just half-core zone. And, uh, you know, they definitely did that. And, uh, you know, again, I think when Sydney Wallace got uh, the two fouls early, you know, a lot of what we do against the zone is predicated by what she, you know, with her, and she wasn't there. So, um, and we kind of got shaken when she got out and had to sit out most of the first half. And thought we recovered. We made a good run in the second half. That's a good sign uh, to get ourselves back in the game. But, you know, then they, they went on a run, and we weren't able to recover from that. Bashara Graves, was that impressive for a freshman? I thought it was really impressive. I mean, her toughness was what was the most most impressive. I mean, you know, 9 for 20, I mean, but it was uh, those 12 rebounds. I mean, the fact that she just went after every ball. I mean, she missed a shot, but she, she just went right back up after it. And that's one of the things that I've been trying to talk to our freshmen about. You know, it's just about the resiliency and the toughness. The first shot doesn't beat you. It's always the second and third shots that beat you. And I think that's what happened to us today with her toughness inside. And you had to love that start to the second half. And then what what happened? Tennessee just got them. I mean, Tennessee got the momentum back and then just didn't shake I loose. I thought we started it. settling for jump shots. We made a couple threes, and then we started jump, settling for jump shots. And we were one and done, and they were getting the rebound then. And I thought when we did, when we started the half, we were doing a better job of working the ball inside. We got to we have to establish an inside game. And if you look at our stats, we didn't have any post touches. Our post players didn't get enough shots. And you know, even though they're young, we have to go inside and play off of them. And we didn't do that. And that's one of the things we will definitely be working on. Any final questions?